Hey, what's up guys? How you all doing? Now, Banshee, the unwanted, underused and underplayed Warframe in our arsenal. Banshee, according to the devs, last year was the least used frame on PC. So when the new skin for her got announced and eventually released, a lot of us were hoping in some little way to get some kind of a slight rework or tweak to some of her abilities, maybe even to her survivability or whatever, but it never came. She is still pretty fragile and still in the exact same state as she was in last year. So it will be interesting to see at the end of this year whether she will still be the least used frame. Now, me personally, I think she is an incredible frame, but just one that needs a decent squad built around her, or if you're playing her solo, then you just need to keep moving. Don't stop or it could be the end of you. It's as simple as that, but she is a good frame. In fact, some of the squads you will have heard of who have ran for several hours in a tower for survival or defense will have used a Banshee in their squad for resonance as a requirement so as it can boost their overall damage output. So that in itself should explain how damn good she actually is. So the devs have now released another augment for Banshee, which is great. If you're a Banshee main, it gives you another way to build her for certain missions instead of just a Savage Silence or a Resonance Banshee, but is it worthwhile? Now the augment is called Resonating Quake, which is for her ultimate Soundquake. Resonating Quake will increase Soundquake's damage by 100 every second at max rank and will stack up to 20 times. It will also increase the range by 1 meter and energy drain by 1 for every second it is active as well. Stacking up I think to 20 as well. So basically Soundquake's damage will increase every second, its range will also increase but its energy drain will increase as well, like I said stacking up to 20 times. Enemies caught inside the Resonating Quake will also be pushed back slightly instead of just a stagger as the radius grows so it is quite a good crowd control. So her ultimate has never been a great damage dealer, we all know that, it's always been more of a crowd control ability used for keeping large rooms on complete lockdown while your squad goes to work killing every enemy in sight. Now and even with this augment I would still mod my banshee for range, power strength and efficiency. With resonating quake you can still keep a room completely locked down but you will start to deal a lot more damage as you gain more and more stacks. And with an efficiency build, your energy drain still isn't too bad, although it will slowly get faster. Now your maximum range at 20 stacks is somewhere around 100 meters and its energy drain at maximum will be eight energy a second as well. So thanks to Hennels on the wiki for posting that, which is a huge range when you think about it, 100 meters, but the energy drain is pretty big as well, so I guess you're going to have to try and find a happy medium in between that. Now in early tower 4 waves, this ability will clean up enemies pretty fast, especially the weaker ones, and if you're running as in Yurik, it will replenish your energy in no time as well, or an EV Trinity, whichever you want to use, or I guess energy pizzas as well. Now I'm not sure if this mod is actually incredible or if it's terrible, honestly I don't know. In the right squad with maybe an EV Trinity or maybe a slow Nova, it could be absolutely incredible, and actually I'd imagine it having all of the Draco players wetting their lips at the thoughts of how easy this mod or this setup could leave Draco or Void intercepts, especially if you've got that 100 meter range. But you guys can let me know in the comment section below what you think of the augment and I guess Banshee in general. Like I said in my previous video, I have set up a public Discord server. Link is in the description to anyone who would like to hang out or game with some pretty chill players. Any games, not just Warframe. Basically, just don't be a dick if you do join the server. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more Warframe. And as always, thanks very much for watching.